Ralph? I think we're talking column one here. Everything I got says the mayor's definitely having an affair with that call girl. Sounds more like tabloid page one to me, though. Agreed. Except for his honor's pillow talk apparently spills the beans on some major corruption. <laughs> I'm just waiting for my source to confirm it. OK, keep me posted. Uh, Clark, are you any further along on that missing hacker story? Further along? Do you have any new leads? Well, <clears throat> nothing concrete, but uh, I think I'm close. That, that lab explosion yesterday looks like it was caused by somebody tapping into their computers. It could be him. Can you prove a connection? Not yet, uh, but I've got Jimmy working on something that might. So there's no story there? Again, not yet. I just need some time to break it. Good. Uh, can I talk to you outside? Just take a second. Be right back. <laughs> Lois, what are you doing? What do you mean? I mean, if I didn't know any better, I'd say you're trying to kill my story in there. Wait a minute. You are killing my story. I'm sorry, but I don't have a choice. You don't understand the pressure I'm under to generate good stories. It takes time to build good stories, Lois. You know that better than anyone. Miss Lane, excuse me, but copy department's on line 25. I'll be right there. You thought there was a story there when we were working on it. Yes, that's true, and that's when I had one story to worry about. Now I have 50. They said it's really important. Uh, OK, let's talk about this later. In, in, in the meantime, I want to team you up with Ralph on that mayor story, OK? R Ralph? Lois, you've got to be kidding. 